because we're all just so the first thing you're probably going to notice when you open GarageBand in iPad OS 26 is your pointer is going to look a little bit more like an arrow doesn't really change much but it's interesting you're probably also drawn to this handle in the bottom right corner because yes you can drag this and resize your garage band window now before you get too excited this at the moment, at least in this development beta, is the smallest that GarageBand can be. But it does mean that you can then open other apps nearby that can be smaller and maybe put your lyrics or put your files or put something off to the side. So that's kind of cool. You'll also notice you've got this Mac style traffic light up here where you can close, you can minimize and you can full screen to bring it back to your full screen. Did you see what happened at the top there? Yeah, we've got menus. We've got drop-down menus here available in GarageBand for iPad. Now, before you get too excited, they don't do a whole lot more than we can actually do out here, but it does make it kind of handy if you're using a mouse or a trackpad or something else here with your iPad. So if we come up to the top here, we can do things like the transport controls, hit record, start, stop, move, mix. You can do things like toggle on and off your FX or your automation. So there's some handy options up there, but not really much that you can't do already where was that one that was here toggle automation there we go the other thing that is brand new to ipad os 26 that will be handy if like me you use an audio interface or a mixer or an external microphone is you can now have complete control over your audio settings so if we swipe from the very top right you'll get this option here and under your now playing if we tap this check it out this doesn't look like much different except i can actually change it and when you change it it stays. You know how in iPads and iPhones, if you plug something in, that becomes your last audio source? Well, now you can tell it what to be. And you can even make this, apparently, based on whichever app you're using. So you can make sure that every time you're opening GarageBand, you're going to get the right audio source. Is there anything else? One final thing. I did say that there wasn't much up here in the drop downs, but one cool thing is you can actually go to the GarageBand menu here and go to GarageBand settings. Now you're probably saying, Johns, uh, your GarageBand settings are up in the top right here. You can just tap on this one and you can even go to your advanced settings here and change those. But this will actually take you into the settings app. So if we tap on this one, it opens up the settings app and it goes straight into the GarageBand extended settings that are in the settings app. And it does it without actually really leaving GarageBand because of the windowing we have in iPad OS 26. And again, we can use the uh, X to just close it out. <laughs> Finally, an easy way to close out your windows. What about some final thoughts? If you are a GarageBand user and you are relying on your iPad to create, record and release your best GarageBand music, now is not the time to update to iPad OS 26. This is the development beta. There's a public beta coming out next month and then the final version will come out in spring which is usually around September if you have a second device like me then by all means join the developer program install the development beta or maybe wait till next month for the public beta but I did want to warn you before we finish up there's really nothing new in here yeah the windowing is cool yeah it's fun to have the little arrow yeah the Mac style controls and drop down menu are fun but there's nothing here that should drive you to jeopardize any of the projects you're working on right now. So let me be your guinea pig. I'll be checking this out and I'll be reporting back if there's anything else cool we find here. If you want any more information about iPad OS 26, I'll be checking it out here in the development beta version on future videos. So make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time.